guys and welcome back to Ganty Plans. Today I am very excited because it is my first plan with me using my own inserts from ganchiplans.com slash shop. Um, and so I'm going to be using today um, insert number 14. This is the dated monthly. It comes in um, three month chunks, which you can print back to back or separately like this. Um, and I'm going to go for a purple theme this year because why not? Does anyone else have like a synesthesia or whatever it is when it comes to months having specific sort of colors in your mind. Anyway, the way that this insert works is you have, you know, your weeks split up, Monday start, so, um, you know, they're, they're split up separately. And then over here, um, each of these, at least the way that I use it, each of these is not necessarily like a, a date specific task, but a week specific task. And then the section is for, you know, notes or undated to do's or whatever. So uh, yeah, there's very little I actually have to set up because it's already dated. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight to my future log. I'm gonna be doing a whole uh, 2021 setup video pretty soon. So you'll get to see all of this, but this is the, uh, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's the same future log that I've been using for years and I didn't wanna switch that up if it's working well. The only thing on here is a doctor's appointment. So I'm going to have that over on this side as a date specific event type thing, um, 8.30. I feel like at some point, hopefully I'll have <laughs> enough kids that I'll have to put a, a name there and remember like whose pediatrician appointment it is, but that's for the baby. She'll be four months old, which is crazy. Another thing I'm gonna mark off, or not mark off, check here. Reference, let's see. This is the birthdays and anniversaries spread, so I'll move all of these over. None of them are birthdays this time. Well, I guess they are. We may go to the cemetery or something. I know we did last year, and it was the last time I saw my dad for months. It's been a crazy year. Uh, let's see, this is first of my older daughter's patron saint. So maybe we'll get her a cake or something. And then, and this is the anniversary of my brother-in-law's death. So we'll definitely do something with the family for that guy as well. Then the next insert from my shop is insert number uh, 17. This is the reoccurring task list. And so this is different from what it was last year when I was using a Peanuts Planner Co. one that was always just a little bit messy. Um, I'm hoping that this will at least keep things fresh. So the idea here is there's a line for each task and then columns here for how often you do the task, the last time you did it, and the next time you did it. And then once that gets moved up to the, the next line, you put you know something in this column to mark that it's been transferred to another line and this is no longer applicable. So I'm just gonna look at the next column and see what's in January. Change sheets on the 19th. So that's in this week here, so I'm just gonna put it at the top. Uh, paying my Twitch or updating my Twitch subscription on the 8th. So I'm going to put that specifically on this line. Or maybe I'll put, I'll put an 8 here as well. Because that one is sort of more date specific. I can't do it early at least. And then on the 15th or this week, there's a lot of stuff I do in the middle of the week. I change my razor, I do the fresh tablets in the dishwasher and the washing machine, I clean out the vacuum cleaner brush in our robot vacuum, and then I refresh these sort of blue coal bags that we have, they're supposed to like purify the air, you're supposed to put them in the sun for an hour once a month, so, and then 
this week I have to, uh, I'll just put toothbrush head because I'm the only one who has that kind of toothbrush. I replace the head on my electric toothbrush every, every three months. And then my daughter's toothbrush I do on the, around the first. And so whenever these things happen, I'll, I'll go back here probably like once a month or so, and I will um, then say, okay, the last time I changed your toothbrush was actually January 1st, so the next time is February 1st, and I'll put a mark here saying that this column is no longer uh, active or current, and it's a different, a different row, if that makes sense. And then I think that that's basically it. There's a couple things from like my current weekly that have to do with like this weekend because obviously it's New Year's Day but those are basically in the weekly already I guess I can put them here like my parents and grandma are gonna come visit the girls and then on Sunday we're going to do a murder mystery dinner with my sister on zoom She's pretty creative. The when I say that, she's probably going to be like watching this going, I'm downloading it. My internet, it's not creativity because she's actually very pedantic. Um, <laughs> that's basically everything here that I have as a task is actually on like a, in a particular week that I'd like to get it done. Um, and as things come up, I can add them either to here or to like a running to-do list here. Um, I might decide I want to use this column for something else as well or for something in addition. But that is basically what we've got going on and <laughs> I pulled out all this washi tape but I don't think I'm actually going to use it because it looks fine as is. The last thing I just have to show you is the weeklies that I have picked up for this week or for this month which are also from my shop. These are insert number two. This was like the reason that I decided to start a shop in the first place was the idea for these. Um, and these basically are a, I call them split weekly. So basically, if you're like me and you have a nine to five during the week, your weekends look different than your weekdays. And so it's separated out like this. You have your Monday through Friday with space here for, you know, I, I use this column for things like, you know, what kind of laundry I'm doing, what we're having for dinner, um, you know, if I'm maybe doing different exercises, different days, that kind of thing. So the kind of routine things. And then um, here would be for events and tasks for a specific day. This can be a tracker for the whole week or it can be an Alistair Weekly if you don't have that many things going on. And then you have bigger sections on Saturday and Sunday for project planning, say, or, you know, whatever you're going to be doing on the weekend that's different from what you're doing during the week because I don't need as much space on each particular day during the week because most of my day is the same every single day. So uh, that is also available. I'm going to be doing a weekly plan with me in a couple weeks as I usually do so you will see what this looks like uh, once I'm a, a week or two into using it and how I can decorate it. So that's everything. Uh, links to my shop down below. Comment if you think anything needs commenting and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye! Thank you.